I didn't paint for over 20 years, and then I just started to get back into it. So my early years, I, I did human figures and I did portraits. We're trained to try everything, you know, watercolor, um, pencil, but we're also trained to be, you know, more realist, make it look like picture. That's what I was influenced to do, and so that's what I painted. For myself, I didn't enjoy brushes. I was clumsy with them, they're too cumbersome. There's too many. <laughs> so I never enjoyed oil painting because I just enjoy that aspect of it. Um, so when I came back at it, I always just felt it was easier to manipulate what I wanted to do with my fingers. And I've, I've been in love with it. The landscapes, I think it's a way for me to escape and it's a way for me to imagine. Um, I can manipulate the trees and paint them the way I want to see them. I can add leaves and do some crazy colors. I actually do paint a pathway. Every painting I possibly can paint a pathway in it, I do. <laughs> and I will continue to do that because to me it is very symbolic. It's a journey. Um, I also like to when I do paint a pathway, I don't like the pathway to be dark at the end of it. I always try to paint it bright and happy because <laughs> I want it to be a positive adventure. So, you know, I hide a heart in every painting. A lot of people like to come in and it's the first time, like, where's the heart? And they, they look for those hearts and it's just, it's just kind of something fun. And it's so, I guess it's my way to remind people is to kind of have to have fun. <laughs> where I am a year and a half later, there's a huge growth. And that makes me even more excited to see what's gonna happen in the next five years. Hi, I'm Kimberly Adams. I'm an artist living in Seattle, creating vibrant landscapes with my fingertips.